Hi everybody, uh, thanks for watching. And in this video, what we're going to talk about is Google Sheets and conditional formatting using Punnett squares. Now this week, I did a Google training for some of our science teachers, and some of the things that came up were using Google Docs and Sheets and Forms for some specific science-related activities, and Punnett squares is one of those things that's always been at the front of my mind when it comes to using Google Sheets. One of the disconnects that occurs with students when it comes to Punnett squares is it's often hard for them to associate a homozygous dominant genotype or a heterozygous genotype and the phenotype or the outcome that comes from that. And so even though a heterozygous might be capital Y lowercase y and a homozygous dominant has two capital Y's just the presence of that one dominant allele means that it's the same color as the homozygous dominant. But kids don't often come to that realization just on paper. So what I wanted to do is use some of the conditional formatting that's available in a Google Sheet so that as kids fill in a chart like this one, they have a visual reminder right away when they fill in the chart. Now right now they don't. See, all this just looks like a jumbled mess of letters to them. But if I go over here to this sheet, which has already been pre-formatted, now when a student enters the genotype of the offspring, it's color-coded so that they know what the phenotype outcome is for that offspring. And they can see it, and then they can use that information to fill in this chart over here. Now, how does this work? Well, actually, with conditional formatting, one of the problems that you're going to run into with Google Sheets is that you can't just do a simple match because conditional formatting is case insensitive. It doesn't understand the difference between a capital Y or a lowercase y. It just sees a Y and so it's going to return the same match. So you actually have to do a custom match on conditional formatting. So what I've done here is if you look at these cells of our Punnett square if we look at our conditional formatting, what I did is I used a regular expression match, meaning that it is looking for the expression of a capital or a lowercase letter in this situation. So let me show you how to do this over on the other page. So I'm going to format this one and I'm going to click add new rule. Remember that conditional formatting is under the format menu. Instead of doing cell contains or text contains or text is exactly, I'm going to scroll to the very bottom and use custom formula is. And in this section right here we'll put equals regular expression match, open our parentheses, and we'll say for cell G3 we are looking for capital Y, capital Y close our parentheses and then we will choose the color that we want associated with that. Now for a Punnett square in this case since yellow is the dominant color and we have two dominant alleles we'll make this yellow or we can choose a fill color that's a little bit brighter and closer to what's over here and we hit done. From there so that it applies to these other cells we can go in and apply this to the entire range and just highlight all of those cells and hit done. And so now if I type YY with both capitals it will now be yellow. So then we just create a rule matching that but for the other outcomes. So all we have to do is add a new rule for these other cells and again we're going to choose custom formula is and it is a regular expression match open parentheses and we do have to put in one of those cells in the Punnett square we'll use G3 again because it really doesn't matter it will still pick up on the others because we're applying this entire rule to that entire range up here we just hit select data range and tell it that it's going to apply to all of these back to our formula we open our quotation marks and we tell it we are looking for big Y, little y, close the quotation marks, close parentheses, and we'll choose our fill color as yellow because again big Y, little y will be yellow. 
hit done. And then we'll add our final rule. Again, it's going to apply to that same range. Custom formula is regular expression match G3 will be our reference cell. Open quotation marks, little y, little y, close quotations, close parentheses. And in this case, we want this to be green because a homozygous recessive genotype will yield green. And we hit done. So now that our rule is made, we can test it out by trying different combinations in each cell of the Punnett square, and we can see that it works. And so now our kids will have a visual understanding of what happens when you have the expression of one dominant allele in the genotype yielding the specific dominant color. So hopefully this helps out some of the science teachers that might be looking for an interactive activity that works along with the Punnett square. And I will add this template to my website so that if anybody would like to borrow and use it, it'll be available to you. And uh, thank you for joining me. And if you have questions, feel free to visit my website and ask a question of the Techie Coach. And we'll see you next time. <music>